Okay, for this project, I am using Red Heart with Love Metallic. It's the their softer line of yarn with the little streamers or the sparkles through it. It's a medium weight of four ply, 100% acrylic. And the color I'm using is teal. It's really, really pretty green. And then I'm going to be using a size I, which is a five and a half millimeter crochet hook. Okay, you want to start this off with a big old long chain of two hundred and thirty three chains so once you get your two hundred and thirty three chains made we're gonna do single crochet across the whole chain so we're gonna start by doing one single crochet in the second stitch from the hook and remember we never count the one that's on the hook so we'll skip one and sink put one single crochet into the next and now I'm going to go along and I'm going to work one single crochet in every single stitch for the entire length of the chain. And when you get to the end of the chain, you should have 232 single crochets. So I'm going to just continue working until I get to end of my chain putting one single crochet in every stitch okay once you make it to the end that was a really long chain um, and you count and you have a total of 232 single crochets we'll start row two by chaining five one two three four five and turn on work now that chain five is counting as a double crochet with a chain two attached to it so now we're going to skip two stitches and if you look at this very very first stitch here this is the double crochet for that stitch so we're not going to count that one we're going to start with the next one so skip one skip two and we're going to double crochet into the next stitch Just like that. Now we're going to chain two, one, two, and then we're going to skip two, skip, skip, and double crochet into the next. And that's the kind of the repeat now. Chain two, skip two, skip, skip, and double crochet into the next. And this is going to be forming these chain spaces here that you see. Chain or er, chain two. Skip two. Skip skip. Double crochet into the next. Sorry about this dark yarn. It actually looks a lot darker on camera. Chain two. Skip two. Skip skip and double crochet into the next. And you want to repeat this until you get to the end of the row. Okay, when you make it to the end, I did a double crochet and a chain two. And then you should have three stitches left, enough to skip two and finish out with a double crochet, one double crochet into that last stitch. So it should come out even for you, where you can end in a double crochet. And then that will end row two. And you should have 77 of these chain spaces. For row three, we're going to chain one and turn. And I'm going to put one single crochet back into the same stitch. So right here. I'm going to put single crochet. Like that. And then I'm going to put one single crochet right through this chain space. So I'm just going to go right through it. Single crochet. And now I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. And I'm going to put a single crochet into this next chain space. Like that. Okay, now I'm going to work our little um, shell into this next 
chain space. So all into this next chain space, I'm going to go ahead and work two double crochets. There's one, two, and now I'm going to work four triple crochets. That's why I yarn over twice into the same space and finish out my triple. So there's one, two, three, four, and now I'm going to work two more double crochets into the same space. One, two. So it was in that space, it was two doubles, four triples, and two more doubles all into that same space. And now I'm just going to jump to the next space and single crochet one time like that. And then I'm going to chain three, one, two, three, and single crochet into the next chain space. And I'm going to repeat this single crochet chain three four times. So that was once. Now I'm going to chain three, single crochet into the next. It's twice. Three, one more time into the next space a single crochet like that so you should have four of these chain three spaces after this shell and then single you ended in a single crochet there so now I'm gonna just kind of repeat all this again from the shell so in this next stitch, I'm going to do the shell again. So I'm just going to yarn over and do two double crochets in my next space. It's one, two, and I'm going to do four triples. There's one. two, three, four, and then I'm going to do two doubles back in the same space, one, and two, now I'm going to single crochet into my next space and now I'm going to do the chain three single crochet four times across these chain spaces so I'm going to chain three and single that's once chain three single into the next space that's twice chain three single into the next that's three times and chain three single into the next and that is four times and again i have four loops after my shell and then again i'm going to repeat that one more i'm just going to keep repeating that until i get to the last three chain space chain spaces in my row so we'll go ahead again and in the next space it's two doubles it's two now four triples one two three and four 
and two more doubles in that same chain space. One, two, and now I'm going to single crochet into the next chain space. Now I'm going to chain three, single crochet four times across these chain spaces. So chain three, single crochet, that's once, chain three, single crochet, that's twice, chain three, single crochet, that's three times, chain three, single crochet, that's four times, and again you should have four chain spaces after your shell and then the next one is my shell again and I'm just going to repeat this all the way down until I get to my last I'll meet you here at these last three chain spaces okay I've made it to our last three spaces here and I just finished out our last repeat where we had four of these chain spaces before the sh or after the shell so now I want, to, I want to go ahead and put a shell in this one. So I'm going to go ahead and do two doubles. And then four triples. One. Two. three, four, and then two doubles, and that will complete the shell, like that, and then I'm going to put one single crochet into the next chain space, and then I'm going to chain three, three, one single crochet here into this last chain space and then I'm going to put one more single crochet in the third this was our beginning chain five I'm going to put a single crochet in the third stitch of our chain five so one two three and I'm going to put a single crochet in it like that and that will end row three and at the end of this row you should have 13 of these shells and you should have 50 of these chain three spaces counting the ones on the end so 50 of them total okay so we'll start round or row four so we're going to chain one and turn our work move all this over here and we're going to go ahead and single crochet right back into that same stitch Like that and now I'm gonna chain three one two three and I'm gonna single crochet into this next chain space like that and now I'm going to chain three again one two three and I'm gonna skip these first two double crochets that we put in our shell and I'm going to single crochet in the first triple crochet of our shell so skip two and then single crochet and then I'm going to chain three one two three and then I'm going to skip two more stitches so it's two triples and a single crochet in the next which is the last triple of the shell like that and then I'm gonna chain three skip the last two and single crochet into this next chain space and that is what I'm gonna repeat now I'm gonna repeat that repeat that last chain three single crochet four times so this one is my first one so now I'm going to chain three again one two three single crochet in this next space so that's two times one 
two, oops, three single crochet into the next space. That's three times. One, two, three single crochet into this next space. So that was repeated that four times. So if you look from this shell, you'll have one, two, three, four, and then we'll start our repeat again by chain and three. One, two, a three, and now we're gonna skip the first two double crochets of our shell and single crochet into the first triple. So skip two these two double crochets and single crochet into the first triple, chain three, skip the next two triples and single crochet into the last triple of our shell like that. And now this is the one that we're going to chain three and single crochet and we're going to repeat that four times starting here. So we're going to chain three and then single crochet down here into this next chain space. So that's once, chain three, single crochet into the next chain space. That's twice, chain three, single crochet into the next chain space. That's three times, single crochet into the next chain space and that was four times we repeated that. Now we're going to start again by chaining three. One, two, three. Skipping the first two double crochets of our shell and single crocheting in the first triple. Chain three. One, two, three. Skip the next two triples of our shell, single crocheting in the last triple of our shell. And now we're going to do the chain three single crochet repeat four times. So one, two, three. Skip these two double, last two double crochets of our shell and single crochet into this next chain space. So that's once, chain three single crochet in the next chain space, twice, single chain three, single crochet in our next chain space, three times, and sing, chain three, and single crochet in this last chain space, which makes four times. And then we're going to repeat again. So that's kind of what it's starting to look like. Now it's just a bunch of chain spaces this row. So if you want to make sure you're doing it right, here's our shell. We got one, we got the two on each, two chain spaces on each side of the shell, and then three in the middle. So that's what it would look like. And then if you look again, chain space on this side of the shell, chain space on this side of the shell, and three in the middle. And we're going to repeat this all the way down until we get to our very last shell, and I'll meet you there. Okay, I've made it to the last shell, so now I want to do, I just single crochet here in my last space, I want to go ahead and chain three, one, two, three, skip my first two double crochets, single crochet in my first triple and then chain three skip my next two triples and single crochet into my last triple and then I'm going to chain three and single crochet into my last chain space and then I'm going to chain three one more time and then I'm going to end with a single crochet right here 
into this last turn chain right here just like that and that ends row four and now all you should have 77 chain spaces all the way down starting from this very last one counting them all you should have 77 and now all it is is just a repeat of rows three and four so you can rewind me and watch again but i'll go ahead and start and do this next row we'll do what we did for row three we chained one and we turned our work you'll get the hang of it once you do it a few more rows it'll be real easy and i'm gonna single crochet right back into that same stitch and then i'm going to single crochet into this next chain space like that and now i'm going to chain three and single crochet again in this next chain space and this is going to start the repeat right now of the whole thing again is we're going to do the shell, this shell right here into this next chain space so we're going to do two doubles one two four triples one two three four and then two more doubles in the same space one two and then we're gonna single crochet into this next space and now we're gonna do the chain three single crochet four times again like we did in row three so one two three single crochet in the next chain space that's once one two three single crochet in the next space that's twice one two three single crochet in the next space it's three times and one two three single crochet into this last space and that makes four times and then we start our repeat again by doing a shell right here in this space on top of the shell so you're just going to repeat what we did in row three for this row four triples one two three four and then two doubles one two and then single crochet in the next chain space and now we'll do our chain three single crochet repeat four times so there's one one two three next space two one two three next space that's three times one two three and four times and then we do a shell right here into this next space on top of the shell and we'll repeat that to the end we'll repeat that until we get to the last three chain spaces again and i'll meet you there okay i've made it to my last three chain spaces go ahead and shell into this last or into this first one here just like we did in row three so two doubles four triples one two three 
four, two doubles, single crochet into the last, or into this next chain space, and then we chain three, one, two, three, single crochet into this last chain space here. That. and then we're going to end with a single crochet um, in this single crochet right here like that before at the end of that row we ended in that single crochet in the third chain space but here we're always just going to end in that single crochet there and then we're going to start row 6 by repeating row 4. So we're just going to chain 1 and turn. And again, at the end of this last row, you should have 13 shells and 50 chain spaces again. Just like we did in the previous row 3. So for row 6, we're going to repeat row 4. We're going to chain 1 and turn. One single crochet back into the same stitch chain three single crochet in this chain space and now we'll start to repeat we're gonna chain three skip these two doubles and a single crochet into the first triple of our shell chain three one two three Skip these two triples, single crochet in the last triple of our shell. And now we'll start our repeat of the chain three single crochet four times. So chain three, three, single crochet in the next space. That's one time. One, two, three. That's Two times one two three and the next space is three times one two three four times and then we start again chain three one two three Skip these two double crochets and single crochet into the first triple crochet of our shell. Chain three. Skip the next two triples and single crochet into the last single crochet of our shell. Now we'll start our chain three single crochet repeat four times. So there's one, two, chain three single crochet skip these double crochet single crochet into the next chain space so that's once one two three next space that's twice one two three then next space three times one two three next space it's four times and now we just start our repeat again chain three single crochet in the first triple of our shell chain three one two three single crochet in the last triple of our shell we skip these two and then we start our chain three single crochet repeat four times so there's chain three single crochet in the next shell or next chain space so that's once chain three single crochet in the next space that's twice chain three single crochet in the next space that's three times chain three single crochet in the next space that's 
four times and then we start again by chaining three and start working in our shell again so we're going to do that until we get to the last shell of our row okay when you make it to the last shell in your row i just did my chain three and i'm going to skip those two double crochets and single crochet to the first triple chain three skip the next two triples single crochet into the last triple chain three single crochet into the next chain space chain three and single crochet right down here into this single crochet or the turn chain or this little spot down here the one on the end like that and then again you should have 77 chain spaces at the end of this row we're just going to keep repeating those two rows back and forth until we get to the length that we want it to be okay i did a total if you count the shells uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And I ended in the shell row. Now you can definitely do more if you want to make it longer. You'll just need more yarn than what I said in the beginning. Now this is, it looks probably, it looks a little cramped up. But it'll stretch a little bit. Once you get it on your body, it'll start to, and you can take it and um, stretch it out to, to make it not so clumped up. But... Now for the buttons, all I'm going to do, if you want to do this, I'm going to use five buttons. They're about <clears throat> an inch, inch size, and I'm going to count from the end. This up here where we, where we started is going to be the top of the shawl. I'm going to count over 18 squares. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And I'm going to sew a button at the top of that 18 square right here along the edge i'm going to skip one square and sew a button at the top of the next one skip one sew a button at the top of the next one skip this one sew a button right here and skip that one and sew a button right here now you can use one big button if you want or you can use three or five or you can go all the way down it's completely up to you now to sew the buttons on, you can use a uh, regular needle and thread, uh, matching thread if you want. I'm just going to use the same color yarn, and I'm going to sew them right up here to the edge. Oh, I'll go from behind and do it. And remember, if you don't even have to put buttons on it if you don't want to, that's completely up to you. I can just make it a wrap without buttons. And I'm going to get them all sewed on like I said. Skip one and then put one here. And I'm sewing it to this outer top edge. And then when the wrap gets folded around your body. Oh, you want to make sure the right side's facing you too. Sorry, I should have said that first. But, um they'll attach to these over here like that and that's how it'll hook so i'm going to go ahead and finish sewing on all these buttons real quick okay i went ahead and brought her outside here now all i did was just you can wrap it around any way that you want actually i just kind of wrapped it and hung it over to the side and you just hook the buttons on the opposite side of these the beginning holes they just snap on there just like that. I mean, you can make it go down the front, the side, but it's completely up to you any way you want to do it. But that's it. That's all there is to it. Um, if you make this or anything else, I'd really like to see a picture of it. You can post a picture on the Bag of Day Crochet Facebook page. I'll put a link to that below in the description box. And until next time, have a good day.